Christ, Lord. 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Shall we bow down our heads for prayers? Father, in Jesus' name, Amen. Lord, we appreciate you for this moment that we are about to hear your word. We thank you, Daddy, for what you have been doing right from the commencement of this service. We thank you, Daddy, for the blessing that we have received even through the praise worship and even the choir ministration. Lord, receive our thanks in Jesus' name. As we go into the ministration of the word, Father, open our understanding to your word in Jesus' name. Father, the word that you speak to our life today, it will illuminate our life in the name of Jesus. Amen. That our life will never remain the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Even our mommy that you are going to use, Father, you are going to speak through her in Jesus' Amen. name. That Lord will speak mystery in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because you have done it. Thank in Lord. Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I welcome us all to this month, this Sunday of last Sunday in the month of March, which is the anointing service Sunday. I thank God for what He's done throughout this month of March, the month of moving forward, that He's moved our lives. Every area of our life is moved it forward, and I pray it continues in Jesus' name. This morning, our text is taken from Exodus chapter 14. I read from verse 1 to 18. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel that they turn and encamp before Fihal, Fiharon, between Magdgal and the sea over a against Belzephon before it shall shall ye come and camp by the sea for Pharaoh will say of the children of Israel they are entangled in the land the wilderness had shut them in and I will harden Pharaoh's heart that he shall follow after them and I will be honored upon Pharaoh and upon all the hosts of the Egyptians may know that I am the Lord and they did so. And it, shall, it was told the king of Egypt that the people fled and the heart of Pharaoh and of his servants was turned against the people and they said, why have we done this? that we have let Israel go from serving us. And he made ready his chariots and took his people with him. And he took 600 chosen chariots and all the chariots of Egypt and captains over every one of them. And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And he pursued after the children of Israel and the children of Israel went out with 
and high hand. And the Egyptian pursued after them all the horses and chariots of Pharaoh and his horsemen and his army and overtook them encamping by the sea beside Pharaoh before Belzephon. And when Pharaoh drew near, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes and behold, the Egyptians marched after them and they were so afraid. And the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord. And they said unto Moses, Because there were no graves in Egypt, hast thou taken us away to die in the wilderness? Wherefore hast thou dealt doors with us to carry us forth out of Egypt? Is not this the word that we did tell thee in Egypt, saying, Let us alone, that we may serve the Egyptians, for it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die in the wilderness. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today, you shall see them again no more forever. Amen. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. Amen. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore criest thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel, that they go forward. But lift thou up thy rod, and stretch out thy hand over the sea, and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. And I, behold, I will harden the hearts of the Egyptian, and they shall follow them. And I will get me honored upon Pharaoh, and upon all his hosts, upon his chariots, and upon his house horsemen. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I have gotten me honored upon Pharaoh, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. Yes. So far, my Israeli people, can we kill that? Can we kill Dari? Can we see? Can we see? Do we see? Bihai Rotu, Ni Agbedemeji, Megdolu, Ongu Okun, Ni Waju, Basifoni, Loko Konre, Ni Eba Okun, Ni Kie Nikyo, Dosi, Ni Toriti Farao, Yo, Winiti, and one more Israeli people, Wanoha, 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 Ni Ile No, I do not say one more, E Miosi, Mwa Ya Farao, Le, Tinyo Fi Le Pa Wan, a o si yin mi logo lori farao ati lori ogun re gbogbo ki awon ara egypt ki o le mo pe emi ni oluwa won si se be o si wi fun oba egypt won si a si wi fun oba egypt pe awon eniyan na sa aya farao ati awon iranse re si yi si awon eniyan na won si wi pe e se ti awa fi se eye ti awa fi je ki israel ki o lo kuro ninu isin wa o si di keke re wo si mu awon eniyan re pelu re wo si mu egbeta ayo keke ati gbogbo keke egypt ati olori si olukuluku won oluwa si mu aya farawo ba egypt le wo si le pa awon omo israel owo giga ni awon omo israel fi si fi jade lo praise the lord we can see from this passage we read that the children of israel were in real torment in Egypt. And this is not, uh, it was not that it wasn't to the knowledge of God. God knew how they got to Egypt. From the book of Genesis, if we go down the memory lane, from the book of Genesis, we were told that God told Abraham that they were going to be strangers in the land of Egypt. Genesis 
Genesis 15 from verse 13 to 15. I read briefly. And he said unto Abraham, Know of a shorty that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years. And also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge, and afterwards shall they come out with great substance. And thou shalt go to thy fathers in peace. Thou shalt be buried in a good old age. Oh, say we fabra mukbe, money to so, pay raw more, you shay a lejo, nay let it kiss you more, more osi sing more, more osi jamon, nay ya nay, in reward doom, I told you lady not by low, see my old massing, nay mule that let jaw, laying on, no more osi jaddy, see I want. Ti oro pupo iwo o si lo iwo o si tu awon baba re lo ni alaafia ni ogologbo ojo ni a o si o ni a o si o so we can see that god was very much aware that this children the children of israel knew what they had to stay in egypt and what they are passing through eyi fi won wi pe olorun fun are mo wi pe awon mo israel yo wa lo si ile egypt ati ohun ti won la koja ni be pe olorun o mo si and we thank God that the Lord had declared this month a month of moving forward, just like he did for the Israelites that they move forward. We are also moving forward in Jesus' name. But moving forward is not just something that is instant. It's a continuous process. So our topic this morning it's moving forward a continuous process. Moving forward a continuous process. So we see that the children of Israel, about 600,000 of them, of men, the, the men, excluding women and children, left Egypt in a hurry to serve God in the wilderness. On their way to the the wilderness, they got stuck with the Red Sea in front, them, in front of them and Pharaoh's and his army behind them. But they all of a sudden forgot all that the Lord did for them in Egypt, how he delivered them with a mighty hand out of the hand of Pharaoh. They became very afraid. And of course, they, as usual, started murmuring and accusing Moses for taking them out of Egypt. And we see that. The spirit of Egypt really did not leave them. They, was, they were always murmuring after Moses, thinking that it would have been better for them to remain in Egypt and serve them, and at least they will have plenty of food to eat and drink. But the Lord said to Moses to urge them to go forward. And what do we really mean when we said go forward? What does the phrase go forward mean? What does it involve? First and foremost, it is important for us to know that God did not ask them to move forward onto mundane things. 
Ako ye do ni lati jo wa kokon fun wa lati ni oye re wi pe Olorun o so fun pe ki won te se waju fun awon kan ti ko ti ko ti o je kan ti aye yi For look at the book of Exodus 5:1 we will know what God asks them to move forward onto Da ba we we Exodus ori karun nibe a ri idi ti Olorun se fini pe ki won te se waju Exodus 5:1 Iwe Exodus ori karun ese kini and afterwards Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh they said the Lord God of Israel let my people go that they may hold a feast unto me in the wilderness Leyin yin ni Moses ati Aaron ni wole won si we fun Pharaoh pe bayi ni Oluwa Olorun Israel wi je ki awon eniyan mi ki o lo ki won ki o le se ajo fun mi ni iju The Lord wanted them to move forward to have a deeper relationship with them Olorun fe ki won te si waju ki won le ni ibasepo eyi ti o jin le pelu re He wanted them to have a feast and a sacrifice unto him Wo fe ki won ni ajo iroba fun ohun He wanted them to go on to a total consecration unto God. Wo fe ki won wa ni iyara ni sort of mo Olorun. Exodus 19:3 to 6. See how the consecration the Lord wanted, the kind of consecration the Lord wanted of the children of Israel. A re ni ni Exodus ori kokan di ni ogun lati ese ka eta si kefa iru iyara ni sort of ifara ni je ti Olorun ti won se fun Olorun. And Moses went up unto God and said God called unto him out of the mountain saying thus said the Lord God of the house of Jacob and tell the children of Israel ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians and how I bear you on eagle wings and brought you unto myself now therefore if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant Then he shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people for all the earth is mine and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation these are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel Moses go ke to Olorun lo wo Oluwa si ko si lati oke na wa wi pe bayi ni ki won ki o so fun ile jacobu ki o se we fun awon omo israeli pe eyin ti ri o eyin ti ri ohun ti mo ti se si awon ara egypt bi a ti mo bi a ti mo ati bi mo ti ru yin ni apa iya ide ti mo si mu yin to ara mi wa in genesis yi bi eyin ba fe gba ohun mi gbo ni toto ti e o se pa ma je mu mi mo ni igba na ni eyin o je isura fun mi ju gbogbo eniyan lo nitori gbogbo aye ni tite mi eyin o si ma je ijoba alaafia fun mi ati orilede mi mo won yin ni oro si wo o so fun awon omo israeli so as referring to us as believers today that the moment we surrender our lives to Christ we have that calling unto total consecration unto god eyin to ka si wa gege bi oni gbagbo si ode o ni wi pe kete ti a ba ti fi aye wa fo christi o je ipe si pe ki a je ara wa soto ki a si fi ara wa je fun olorun the book of matthew 22:37 iwe matthew ori keji le ni ogun eseketa din ni ogoji We must ori keji le ni ogun ese aketa din ni ogoji Jesus said unto him thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart with all thy soul and with all thy mind Jesus si wi fun pe ki won ki o fi gbogbo aya re ati gbogbo okan re ati gbogbo inu re fe Oluwa Olorun re 
That is we are called to total consecration, total love for God. What does it also mean to move forward? We're told we are asked to move forward unto absolute obedience and total commitment to the service of God. Obedience in the area of tithing, obedience in the area of dressing, obedience in the sanctity of the family. This moving forward applies to everyone, the father, the mother, and the children. We all have responsibility to the moving the church of God forward. The book of Ephesians 5.23 tells us the role of the father in the home. He says the father is the head of the home just like Christ is the head of the church. So it's important that the father must be the spiritual, must see to the spiritual well-being of the family. And the mother also has a role to play. The mother should be very submissive to the husband. And must help to build her home. Because it's a wise woman that builds her home, but is the foolish one that pulls her home apart. The children also have their own role. Let's see the role of the children in the book of Ephesians 6. Ephesians 6, 1 to 3. Since children obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. How what does it mean for us to move forward? We should strive to live a life of holiness. Leviticus 11 45, 44 to 45. You will let it you say, For I am the Lord your God, ye shall therefore sanctify yourselves, and ye shall be holy, for I am holy. Neither shall ye defile yourselves with any manner of creeping things that creepeth upon the earth, for I am the Lord that bringeth you up out of the land of Egypt to be your God. Ye shall therefore be holy, for I am holy. Leviticus 
be ni eyin ko gbodo fi ohun ko ohun tin rako so ara yin di elere nitori pe emi ni oluwa ti o mu yin goke ti ile egypt wa lati ma se olorun yin nitori na ki eyin ki o je mimo nitori pe mimo ni emi so we can see that our moving forward it's only unto god total consecration unto god because when we take care of the spiritual things that the physical ones will be made manifest because it's the spiritual that controls the physical so if we are not careful, there are enemies that are contending with our moving forward. As this month is a month of moving forward, and the Lord has already moved up forward, we have to be cautious and watchful that these enemies do not pull us down again. And what are these enemies? The first one is sin. Let's open the, to the book of 2 Timothy 2 2.19. Second Timothy two nineteen. What Timothy two KG? Ori KG. Yes, I can continue. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his, and let every one that nameth the name of the of Christ depart from iniquity. Shugban, ekpinle olorun ti o daju duro sisin, wo ni edidi yi wi pe Oluwa mu awon tin se ti re, ati pelu ki olukuluku eni tin pe oruko Oluwa ki o kuro ninu aishododo. We can see that it was sin that really brought the Israelites into being perished in the wilderness. They were always murmuring but they, they, when they get to any crossroad and they encounter any obstacle, rather than calling up to, unto God, they will always murmur against Moses and wanting to go back to Egypt. So this spirit of the land of Egypt never left them until they all perished. Let's look at the book of Numbers 26. The book of Numbers 26 from 64 to verses 64 to 65. But among these there was not a man of them whose Moses and Aaron and uh, the priest numbered when they numbered the children of Israel in the wilderness of Sinai. For the Lord had said of them, they shall surely die in the wilderness. And there was none left a man of them, save Caleb, the son of Jephunai, and Joshua, the son of Nun. Shubham, Ninu awon wonyi ko si okunrin kan ninu awon ti Mose ati Aaroni alufa ka ni igba ti won ka awon mo Israel ni agiju Sinai ni tori ti Oluwa ti wi fun won pe kiku ni won oku ni agiju ko si ku okunrin kan 
ninu won bi ko se Caleb omo Jephunneh ati Joshua omo Nuni So of all of the children of Israel that left Egypt only two of them survived it the all the others perished in the wilderness Ninu gbogbo omo Israel ti won fi le Egypt jade ti won ti le Egypt jade wa ko ku enikan ni ninu won bi ko se Caleb ati Joshua nikan ni won ye and this is as a result of sin and for us today we are also going back to egypt because all the influence of egypt is very much on most believers today even though we are born again but Egypt has not really left us. We are still struggling with falsehood, anger, bitterness, malice, wrath, clamor, and slander. And these are all sin that the Lord forbids us. Sin of sexual immorality is still very much with us. And as long as all these are in our lives, we will find ourselves back to our vomit. So it's important that we strive to make sure that we do away with all these and move forward indeed so that all the covenant blessings of God will be ours. There are rewards for moving forward. For instance, this, we've already moved forward this month and we're expecting these rewards to begin to manifest in our lives. No as it is why do not need to show you as in reality because I'm a bad daddy. It is why do you I'm a little so more because you follow me no I hear you. What are these rewards? Kiwa what I want you to know you. They are God's covenant blessings. I dare my gem any my gem or learn which can be classified into two parts the physical and the material blessings for all his children here on earth and secondly the eternal inheritance in heaven for those who will endure to the end and that is why it's important that we continue in this process of moving forward finally before we go to prayer we must, how do we maintain this moving forward? We must shun sin and all its appendages. Ephesians 5.11 Ephesians 5.11 And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever dot made manifest is light sugbon o n gbogbo ti aba ti aba wi ni mole yin fi han nitori o n ko un 
Wherefore, he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. Nitori na ni o se wi pe ji iwa eni ti o sun si jinde kuro ninu oko Kristi yo si fun o ni imole How do we maintain this moving forward? Ba wo ni a se le boju to ti tesi waju yi We must have right standing with God Agbodo ni iduro sisin pelu Olorun ti o to na and have a clear conscience toward God and toward man. We must live a disciplined life. We must be disciplined in every area of our life. In our, our thoughts, in what we speak, because our conversation should be such that would not hurt, but rather it should edify. We should should be holiness unto the Lord. That should be our watchword. We must have total consecration and commitment to the service of God. First Corinthians 15. First Corinthians 15. 58. And it says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. How do we maintain this moving forward? We must have absolute obedience to God's word, his directives and instructions. We must walk in love. Ephesians 5, 1, 2. Ephesians 5, 1, 2. It says, Be ye therefore followers of God as their children, and walk in love as Christ also had loved us, and had given himself for us on an offering and a sacrifice to God for us with smelling savour, but fornication and all uncleanness and covetousness, let let not let it not be once named among you as become it sins. Netori no, Emma Shia Farawi Olorun be a one more more. How do we maintain a moving forward? Unbelief must be replaced by absolute trust in God. Proverbs 3 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all thy heart 
and lean not on your own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. <laughs> And lastly, we should ask for godly wisdom. Godly wisdom to be able to move, carry us through our journey on this earth. The wisdom of this world will lead us unto destruction. James, the book of James 3. James 3, 13 to 18. Who is a wise man and endure with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. But if ye have bitter envying and strife in your heart, glory not and lie not against the truth. This wisdom descended not from above, but is earthly, sensual, and devilish. For where envying and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceably gentle and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. Tani, Tani Ogma. Ti o si ni imo ninu ninu yin e je ki o fi ise rere han nipa iwa rere nipa iwa tutu ti ogbon sugbon bi eyin ba ni owo kikoro ati ija ni okan yin e ma se e ma se se fefe e ma si sheke si otito ogbon yi ki se ki se yi ti o ti oke sokale wa sugbon ti aye ni ti ara ni ti emi esu ni nitori bi ti owu ohun ijaba gbe wa ni ibe ni rudorodo ati wa buburu gbogbo wa sugbon ogbon ti o si oke wa akomo akomo asif asin ni alafia ani ipamora ki kisi kisi soro lati lati be akun fun anu ati fun esorere ni aisi ebe ni aisi egbe ati laisi agabagebe eso dodo ni agbin ni alafia Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we've now seen how we can maintain this moving forward. We thank God that we already moved forward this month. And we pray that the Lord will continue to move us forward in Jesus' name. Now we're going to ask God to empower us to be able to continue in this process of moving forward. That anything that will bring us down, whatever it is, last Sunday we dealt with our foundation. The Lord has already delivered us from that but this is ourself. If we are not careful, we ourselves can move ourselves backwards and go back onto our vomit. Before we go into our prayer, let us just briefly read this passage on Second Peter chapter two. Second Peter chapter two. From verses twenty to twenty-two. So that we will know how we have to really pray and pray through. 
fun wa lati le mo bi a se ni lati gba adura ki a si gba gba yori adura ninu iwe peteru ki peteru keji ori keji verse 20 to 22 lati ese ogun si ese kokan ese keji le ni ogun should please all open to that passage ki gbogbo wa ki a se bibeli wa sibe for if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. They are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandments delivered unto them. But it is happened unto them according to the true proverb the dog is turned to his own vomit again and the sore that was washed to her swollen in the mare ni tori layin si won ba ti yo tan kuro ninu eri aye ni nipa mimo oluwa ati olugbala wa jesu christi bi won ba si tun fi ara ko ti a si segun won igbe yin won aburuju ti isaju lo nitori iba san fun won ki won ki o ma mo ona ododo ju leyin ti won mo ti won mo tan ki won ki o ki won ki o yi pada kuro ninu ofin mimo ti a ti fi fun won owe o ti so ni se si won lara a ja su pada si ebi ara re ati elede ti a ti we mo sinu afo ninu Shall we close our eyes now and talk to the Lord? We've heard He spoken to us this morning. We've heard His word. We have to ask for an empowerment to be able to live a life pleasing in His sight. Let us ask the Lord that sin, self, and the devil will not take us back to where we started from. But the Lord in his mercy will keep us standing to the very end. Let us pray unto the Lord. And ask for his mercy and his grace. It's only his grace that can sustain us. We cannot do it of our own. Father, in Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's rise on our feet. Let's pray that prayer very well. 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 Let's pray that and that message expects us to prepare ourselves for God, for what He has promised to do and what He has been doing in our midst and in our lives. Say, Lord, 
I've heard your word. The Bible says, He sent his word and hid them and deliver them from their destruction. That is what the word of God used to do. To save. To heal. To deliver. To bless. To correct. And also instrument of instruction. Uh, no, instruction. Let's, talk, let's call upon him. Say, Lord, as I've heard your word today, heal me by the power in your word. Deliver me to me and set me free by the power in your word. Let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. Let's pray. Commit yourself to the hand of God. And pray that prayer very well. Yes, Pray, 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 pray in the name of Jesus. Rakuri kashiri kusoro kashiri kusoro kashida ba. Rakuri kashiri kusoro kashiri kusoko kusida ba. Ora kashiri kusoro kashiri kusoro kashiri ba. Rakuri kashiri kusoro kashiri kusoko kashida. Ora kashiri kusoko kashiri kusoko kashida. Ora kashiri kusoro kashiri kusoro kashida. Upa pray 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 da ne mochi. Pray very well. Ba dura idara dara. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We want to pray again. But before I give you that prayer point, let me just explain briefly so that we know how to uh, pray the prayer very well. Take up your Bible Baby and open with me to the book of Joshua, chapter 14. Joshua, Joshua chapter 14. Joshua, Just to break up that message so that you know how to pray very well. I believe you are there now. Joshua chapter 14. Joshua, and we shall read from verse uh, 5. As the Lord had commanded Moses, so the children of Israel did, and they divided the land. Then the children of Israel and the, the children of Judah came to Joshua in Giga, and Caleb the son of Je Jephunem the Kenasites said to him, You know the 
you know the word of the Lord. Okay. You know the word which the Lord said to Moses, the man of God, concerning you and me in Kadesh Barnea. Verse 7. I was 40 years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to spare out the land. And I brought back word to him as it, as it was in my heart. Nevertheless, my brethren who went with me made the heart of the people met, but I wholly follow the Lord my God. Yes, ma'am. Gege bi oluwa ti pase fun Mose be ni awon omo Israel se won si pin ile na ni igba na ni awon omo Judah wa sodo Joshua ni Gilgali Caleb omo Jephunneh ti Kenisi Kenisi si wi fun pe iwo mo ohun si oluwa wi fun Mose eniyan Olorun nipa temi ti re ni Kedesi Bania eni ogoje odun ni mi ni igba ti Mose ranse ti mo se iranse oluwa ran mi lati kedesi bania lo sami ile na mo si mu iyin fun wa gege bi o ti wa ni okan mi sugbon awon arakunrin mi ti o goke lo ja awon eniyan ni aya sugbon emi to oluwa olorun mi leyin patapata verse 9 so moses swore on that day saying Surely the land where your foot had trodden shall be shall be your inheritance and your children and your children forever because you have wholly followed the Lord my God. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I guess so. Most is it burani or don't know we pay need to so he let yes already tell me. Ile ni re ni yo je ati ti awon omo re lai lai nitori si iwo to oluwa olorun mi leyin patapata hmm verse 10 eseke wa and now behold the lord has kept me alive as he said this 45 years 45 years ever since the lord spoke this word to moses why Israel wandered in the wilderness, and now here I am this day, 85 years old. As yet, I am strong this day, as on the day that Moses sent me, just as my strength was then. So now is my strength for war, both for going out. And for coming in. In Genesis, saying, Kesi, Oluwa da mi si gege bi o si wi, La si odo marun, Le lo go, La si odo marun, Le lo go ji yi wa, La si igba si Oluwa ti soro ye, Fun mo se, Ne igba ti Israel in rin kiri ni agiju, Si kiesi, Ne si si yi, E mi di e ni, Arun din la adorin yodun, Ni o ni, Si be, E mi ni agbara, Ni o ni gege bi mo si, Ni, ni ojo si mo se ron mi lò, gege bi agbara mi si re ni igba nò, a ni bè ni agbara mi re ni si si yifu ogun, a ti la ti jade, a ti la ti wole. Verse 12. Eseke ji la. Now therefore, give me this mountain of which the Lord spoke in that day, for you heard in that day how the Anakim were there and that the cities were great and fortified, it may be the Lord will be with me, and I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. In the nature of the Lord, you will be with me, and 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 you will be with me, Boya oluwa yo wa pelu mi emi o si le won jade gege bi oluwa ti we verse 13 eseketala and Joshua blessed him 
and gave Abram to Caleb, the son of Jephunim, as inheritance. Hebron therefore became the inheritance of, Je of Caleb, the son of Jephunim, the Kenazite, to this day, because he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. And the name of Hebron formerly was Kajat Abba. Abba was the greatest man among the anarchy, then the land had rest from war. Yes, I get a lot. Joshua see Sure Fun Un si fi Ebroni Funkelebu or Mojefuni ni Ilaini ni Torino Ebroni di Laini Kelebu or Mojefuni ti Kenisi Titi Dio ni Oloni ni Torito Tauluwa or Long Israeli Lenya Kwata Kwata Boruko Ebroni Laila Ria Ma J Kiria Tiaba Abba J in Yon Lakon Ninu and one mark anarchy, he let no see, see me lower. Amen. 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 I don't know whether you do other some that passage very well. I believe the Bible students. I believe as a Bible student. You should understand that passage very well. And you must have already uh, caught up the vision God gave for me because that passage that is relevant with today's uh, subjects. And there's an emphasis in that place. That kept on repeating itself. Can you got it? Have you got it? That passage kept on hammering on a particular subject. And what is it? Saying that Caleb who lay follow the Lord. If you know the background of uh, background story of that passage, you know that you remember when God sent some spies to I mean um, uh, uh, some men to spy the, the, the land of uh, an enemy in those days. Then out of these people, only uh, out of twelve of them, only two who brought good news for the people of Israel. The remaining thing, what happened? They say, ah, we, we dare not do it. Oh. It doesn't mean that God says you. Don't, God says you need to apply wisdom. Oh. All these people, when we got there, they are giants. They are the sons of Anakim. Anakim happened to be giants. They are descendants of a, 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 a giant. And therefore, when immediately within them from far distance, we were just an, an ant. They said they are what? Grasshopper. That is like a I can't be a why you want it. A magic a magic don't would rather pull you out with a long egg by wing by you, egg by wing by. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But what happened? Caleb and Joshua, what happened? They said, though they see themselves as somebody, but they are nothing before because it is a war that God has already fought on our behalf and we shall overcome. And what happened? The ten, the little me ten. What happened? Eh? <laughs> they don't, don't do it. And because of this, God promised great things concerning these two people. Number one, Joshua happened to be promoted to replace Moses. Then Jacob, what happened? I mean, Caleb, what happened? God promised the best place of that, uh, of that land for him. And 45 years after, Caleb and uh, uh, Moses already departed. Moses, what is your What is Sonny Lua? Lua to Pelito Shetito. But Jessabu, a KG, or Luan Shikini, Lua Yadari, or a low back Caleb, or a low back Joshua. Do you remember what God told promised 45 years ago? And uh, thank God, Moses, I mean, Joshua, a man of God, you could not deny it. Say yes. Yes, promise because you fully do what? Fully follow the Lord. Oh, if you talk about Shikini. 
Ofi Ofi tell you Ofi Ofi she fell lower, and Joshua did not. Joshua also confirmed it. Another time, because the two of them brought uh, good news, rather than uh, 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 the opposite. Then the Bible says. Um, Moses, the man of God, swore, saying, because I have done this, this is shall be, this is what, what, I mean, this is what God will do in your life. When, at a time, as a man of God, you can be inspired to say some things. But, ah, if it's in my mind, it's okay, oh, be kita, be joba, tu, katori, pe, on fe, ba, e, ton, he was always, pe, ah, to ba, je, tori, pe, and our God is a faithful God. What God promised him 45 years earlier. 45 years. God did not forget. And that's why I went to pity some people. You have been saying, God, I mean, a miracle will happen. It is okay, you are not shelling, you are not I've been coming for the past six months now, you say, six months, six months. Six months, I've been coming. You are saying, this. I don't believe in all this, God says, Jari. And you call yourself a prophet. You didn't see vision. What is causing the delay? What's it? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If God cannot testify concerning you that you are wholly following Him, you are just wasting your bloody time. You better go and look for your prophet somewhere else. <laughs> and that is the Bible. If God cannot testify concerning you that you do hollow, you do wholly follow him, which prophet will do it for you? I feel we will to Obama at the age. Except the prophet that will deceive you. Ah, uh, mommy, she want to know what happened. Ah, on something. Lori, cash, 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 she fell lower. That we should do the will of God and love one another. Do you love your neighbor? I used to pity some people. I don't know what they will say there are a lot of witches in the church. Yes. And they'll begin to move here and there. They don't want them to touch them. I don't think I'll be able to come here again. I don't think I'll be able to come here again. All those sitting around me, they are all witches. Now go to the church where there are no witches. There are a lot of churches that there are no witches there. White, white, new, white, everything they white. White, shiny Floor, white. White, white. White, <laughs> white garment. But a white etiquette, but a white, everything white. Every one of them, they are holy and holy and holy. You are, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You may see me as too hard. The way the Lord calls each and every one of us is different. I am committed to teach the whole counsel of God. If I teach anything to the contrary, that is not in the Bible, you have the right to question me. Where did you say this one? You have the right to question me. But what I've just read in that passage is a testimony to me and to every one of us and a challenge that if God cannot say concerning you that you are wholly following him, you are just wasting your bloody time. 
Be Olorun ko wa le jere se wi pe o tele ohun toko tokan iru eni be kon fi akoko re so fun Forget but you are anointing forget about your gift forget what you are doing for God Gbagbe ni pa ebun re gbagbe ni pa ohun to nse fun Olorun Pray the Lord Hallelujah Pray see the Lord Hallelujah Ajemelo ni Jesus leku onu jo How many witches did Jesus sent away from the church Adam lo Sugbon le awon kan kuro But he sent some people out. I want to, I want Who are those? I want to see them. Those that are not ready. Those that are not ready. Those that are not ready. Those that are trading in the house of God. Hello, hello, hello. How much is this? They are doing bazaar in the church. No church bazaar. Inside the church of God. I want so ili uluwa di uli. And you turn the house of God to lions den. They may, they may boast of building trillion lira or dollar for, for God. See them uh, trillion lira cathedral. It's just a sheer waste of time. Rest on your feet. You want to pray. The Lord is here. I want to make for what so you come on here. I'm going to build on the naira. She's going to go there. Who can get four phone? Can you get a lot of money? I get. I think to put up. You have to put up. What is the difference between a witch and a liar? Can you get a lot of money? I get. I see only. What is the difference between a witch and a thief? Can you tell us any idea? At the end of your week, can you prove it? Or we need to get it? Or we need to do something? Ah, eh, what's your name? Ah, I'm like what? Oh, that, oh, that, oh, that. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, mumbo wani endi. Mumbo bubu ema mari endi. Oga, oga no shoshi o oga o. What is the difference between a witch and a backbiter? That they will begin to slander others at the back. Pray the Lord. Hallelujah. I prefer to die rather than rather than uh, tell you something else that is contrary to the word of God. Rather than tell you what I know that will not profit you. What time is Lord working? Could you be working one song? Come, you know, to all Lord is be belly. I be on call. We take on the jerry for. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's declare hundred days. Or 200 days fasting and prayer. If God cannot testify concerning me that I do follow Him, it's just a hunger strike in Ibugwe. Hunger, kini. Me ogbo. Unless you want to change the Bible. Eja ki ake de awe fu ogbo run odu tabe gba odu ti olodo ba wa le fowo so ya bi pe mo fi toko toko tele ohun ero iru awe be o je pe eyan ko fi bi panu ni. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Inu bi yin si mi abi. You angry with me? Tori pe mi fe ko da fun yin. Cuz I want it to be well with you. Se ri bi ti Hebron, ti Kenebu, to inherit yen, ti ba bere se so tori fe you we wonder. To ba wo, to ba go back to Genesis. Bi mo mo yen tin bo se ndi le ba message yen. Let me let me mo na sha sha ru no ko mi pe ah. This is a very relevant message. Se ri Hebron yen Every way, ought to be saint. Me fa no be belly, including Abraham, Isaac. To one see, one see. Oh, just the best. One of the key, key city in the land of in in the land of Israel. It be told on. She she. He ya to. He le ya to see le na. Land is different from land. Oh ah. He ya to. Me da lo. Me ubu a mona da bad bad agri o. Eh, mo bi le da bad agri siri. No, they lie. They lie. To repay, she be benanti. I want to rule. If anyone so much less in those days, to a joro 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 joro, to ship a body to the other side. Oh, see, oh, see, be content, young she. To check in, to your Nigeria. There's no evil that you do. There's no evil that you will do that you not read the repercussion of it, and it will be from generation to generation. Hello, me no rock. We can't carry that jeep. It's far more than that. Some people thought because of to buy jeep and able to build a mansion, that is why they are coming to church. Can you pay Babalola? Coco, twenty-story building. Nibanye, kilomache lensi. Twenty-story building. Ati ye. Oh, ni lebu kose ni lebu badu. Twenty-story building. Kati kola te nte forty. She kuni sheba. She wadu osiba. Oh, damilo. Shuban. Baba Lola, heaven will never forget him for his good words in this nation and his generation. 
Neti baba lola, onro ni bagbe ishe re re, yiti o ti she, fun e ron ye. If the Lord tarries, ti onu wa ba su mi bore si wajo, ti jesu o ba yi de, if Jesus tarries, 1,000 years to come, e gbe ron odo se si ye, anywhere in the world, ni ebe kebe ni agba ye, and you say, God of baba lola, we pe Allah ro baba lola, before you say it, he said, Here I am. I will pay me. Really? How much can you buy that? Hello, no, I feel right. Lady, it's a dummy loan. The righteous is an everlasting, everlasting remembrance. He runs your load of the what is a lie. Pray the Lord. Hallelujah. To pass up with Lenin, see, she said today, because of it, God of Caleb. Before you finish calling it, we answer you. <laughs> How about that? About one year later. Can I you? The things of the world will perish with the world. <laughs> here, God want to. Here is a place God love to share mind with us ebi bai ja ebi ti olorun ne ma fe lati pe okan re pelu wa lati so okan re pelu wa no deceit no hypocrisy ko si etan ko si si agabagebe do you love your neighbor like yourself ja fe ra ra kunrin bi ti ara yin if you fail to do that ba ku na lati se yi declare a thousand days fasting and prayer with just it it's just a anger strike. Beg, 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 roll, draw, we can't let. We are good, but you feel like you're funny. I'm not giving you this prayer point. Ma, funny, go quad, right? I'm not giving you this prayer point. No, you're funny, go quad, right? This is my prayer point now. I'm going to quad, right? I'm going to quad, right? Lord, oh, Lua, I am your son. Oh, more, any more, Jay? Give me the power. For me, I'm Barra. And the grace. I told you, fair. To to begin to serve you. Nothing better than this, sir. Acceptably. No, not to shake. I want to follow you with all my heart. But first, tell you, I'm going to go by. No matter what it will cost me. Because I know that it is that that will profit me. Here or not, and the life to come eternity. I am praying that prayer now. <laughs> if you are interested, you can pray along with me. <laughs> Eu não quero pura e cacerica, xirica, vou pra cá, vacina.